Because with Skibs as well, it's crazy. You've got to think 25 years in the game and mm. still just as relevant yeah. as when he came out and two times freestyle yeah, and the yeah, MC yeah. convention There's and lots of uncontrollables stuff. and That's now right. SSAS. It's yeah. insane. Yeah. 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 I started taking piano lessons when I was five years old. <laughs> yeah, piano lessons. Yeah. And I was proper good at piano. And then I actually started doing flute. I was on the flute for a little bit and started playing drums for a little bit. That's amazing. And then I went on to steel band. Dun, 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 quande, mm. quande, man. Yeah. Gee, I love that. Killer, killer, oh, 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 podcast. Killer, killer, official, .com. <laughs> you need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the app store for free today. Created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Killer Keller Podcast reporting to you live from you know where, Central London, Central as you need to be. And again, I've had the, the nerve, the audacity to invite some heroes of mine inside, <laughs> inside my yard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, brother. What's going on? You good? Scuba D, Harry Shotter inside. Here, man. Around. Yes, yes, people. Yes, how are we? We're good, man. Good, man. Glad to be here, man. Finally, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Good millions to get down here, so that's good, you know, glad to be here, man, and just uh, represent, you know what I mean? 100%, yeah, percent, brother. Yeah. Obviously, I come to the live podcast, so I know you get there, and I see you <laughs> Man had these beers, what was it, like 8.5? His, oh, yeah, his own beer skip. You know what I mean? I, I like a strong beer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had two of them. I was kind of like on my way. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was on my way. Man. I, know, man. I was on my way for patrol myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what happened. Eight percent. Was... You got any more? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, 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 do. Beers, brand what? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Is, 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 uh, is there enough space to open that fridge door? <laughs> He's actually got them in there. He's not even joking. No, I'm not like, joking. <laughs> I thought he was just mucking around, man. <laughs> nah, he's got his own, man's got his own beers, man. Oh, oh shit, man's got to be wavy by the time I get out of it, boy. I'll just stick for the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, you got a light, huh? Is there one in there? Yeah, it should be in the bottom in the, in the drawer. Should be oh, in the bottom. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's yeah, yeah, yeah. the Killer Keller logos, man? One or two. Well, I'll have one, then. Oh, I'll have one, then. Should we two in there for you? Yeah, no, you're not. Not that we condone any sort of drink driving. No, man, I'm going to do that, man. Easy. Killer Killer beer, you got your own beer, fam. Oh, that's it. That's big, isn't it? Yeah, bro. Let me just check you in. In fucking shot, in skip it. Yep, 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 yep. Back in. Yep. Is that the one, yeah? Yes, yeah, the one. Big. So, yeah, I've got a bottle actually. Yeah, yeah, there's one here, man. Bottle open, all right? Oh, yeah. Jesus, I really well, I've been busy this week, haven't I? Yeah, <laughs> been on it, man. <laughs> they, it all started as fun and games until someone losses an eye, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, so thanks so much for coming down. How far you travel to get here, then, boss? Not that far, man. I'm, I'm South East. I'm South East London, man. So, oh, yeah. Oh, no, not far at all, really. Still yeah, good. I'm, I'm still in Kent, but I've got a quick train to King's Cross, so it's like I'm in King's Cross in literally 18 minutes, so oh, yeah. it's not too bad. Man. King's Cross is the la life, Woo! man. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> it's got a little kick in it in the bro. It's your day. Oh, special talk, okay? Yeah, right. No games, no games. Damn, dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got one, man. Oh, yeah, you're all right. You can do that. It's all good, man. Um, how's work been, then, boys? Mm. All right? Yeah, can't complain, man. Yeah. It's just... For me, it's 25 years in the game, bro. So, yeah. let's have a, can we just have a fucking yeah. round of applause? Uh, hey, on that come one. on, man. 25 years <laughs> in the game. You know, 25 years ago, still looking 21, it's unbelievable. Oh, no, you know what I mean? So, oh, no, <laughs> <it's funny. laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, man, I'm just enjoying it, man. I'm still, I'm just really. You know, glad to still be getting work, to be honest. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, with Skibs as well, it's crazy. You've got to think 25 years in the game and mm -hmm. still just as relevant yeah. as when he came out and two times freestyle yeah, and the yeah, MC yeah. convention There's and lots of uncontrollables stuff. and now right. SSAS. So, yes. It's yeah. insane. Yeah. 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 It's a lot. It's a long journey, man. But um, yeah. just keeping it focused and just keep moving. And um, as I said, it's blessed to still be getting bookings and stuff like that. I'll be honest, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think when, you still, when it's this long in the game, you're just like you just appreciate everything more because yeah. I don't think many music careers last this long really so 25 years is special man yeah so you know what I mean so 25 years is like I was trying to tally up you know because mm. as you do you know when you, you, one of us has got like a number yeah. what, mm. what, how long have I but I I lost it. I can't. I don't know. So it's great that you. You know what I mean. It's, yeah, it's been yeah, tallied yeah. like that. Yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. Twenty five years, mm. definitely, man. So I know how long I've been doing drum and bass. I've just, just literally, just hit the ten years of doing D and B. Mm. But mm. obviously, before that, you know, I was doing my hip hop. Oh, thing, okay. so. hey, listen, that's we, right. We yeah, started on you, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. 
Because yeah. <laughs> I tell you, man, I remember seeing you as Lethal back on Represent Magazine days. Wow, Represent yeah, Magazine? yeah, 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 I remember that. Bro, I, was still, I was still in school then. Yeah, Lethal and Destruction. Probably the first year of senior school then, man, mm. when I was in that magazine. So long I'm a basketball time. man. The fucking basketball yeah. the hoodie. <laughs> he, was like, he was like a fucking British red man looking dude. Like, <laughs> Everything was just like so hooded and like EPMD yeah. style. Yeah, Red yeah. Man yeah. and EPMD was like yeah. my favourites at the time. Yeah. So I yeah. guess yeah. as a yeah. young star, you kind of emulate the people. Yeah. Style, I mean, with Destruction, style wise, Destruction was doing stuff with Adam F and all them guys, innit? Yeah, so you that do was stuff with Red Man and you, you know, remember right. the Adam F album Chaos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Destruction, who obviously do all my beats, you know what I mean? He's and a DJ as well, right? Dick mm. DMC finalist mm. back in the day and all that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I hear he does um, Harley Davidson events and shit. That's what he's on. Yeah, that's that's the vibe he's on now, man. Playing the breaks and everything else. So he's still out there doing his thing. Good for him, you know. Man, it's big. them stories I like, you know. Um, it's 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 funny how we all kind of d- d- walk in a journey and like cross ref cross path. The yeah, whole time, yeah. You know, but we're still on the road, man. Mm. We ain't crashed yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still driving, man. Still yeah. rolling. Yeah. I remember seeing a couple of documentaries back in the day. Skibs of like you and. And Shy and Fabio oh, just yeah. talking on on a level like yeah mm. I mean it must have been like Death Two or something you know yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, a long, long time ago that man yeah 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 mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull it all out man oh, all right cool cool <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen a podcast in yet so yeah, I'm just getting yeah. on the cool yeah. man let's um, do it man yeah and it was just for me it was really it was like a real it was like a a moment of like, I was just absorbing everything as mm. as I'm sure you was hope because mm. we're the same age you know yeah what I mean? yeah yeah well, give or take like that was a fundamental piece of culture yeah. Mm. Yeah. right there but the climate was so different back then that's right yeah man things have changed you know what I mean but it's, it's you know times change man you know and you just got to just kind of readjust yourself really and just make sure you're moving with it yeah. and you're not getting left behind yeah. do you know what I mean it's quite easy to kind of get complacent and get left behind obviously I come from the, the jungle the old school so it's a lot different to what's going on now mm. do you know what I mean but I you know people ask, always say to me like how do you how do you stay relevant and stuff and you, I don't know things just change and you've always got to have your eye open and you've got to see things change before they actually change mm. it's not for me it's not about seeing things change and think, oh, oh, oh we need to do this we need to do that you kind of have to like see that what something's something's going it's got, you yeah. have to kind of have that inkling that something's uh, going to change do you yeah. know what I mean sometimes it's like oh you have two three four years where you're on the same same wave and you're smashing it smashing it but you know that it's going to change soon mm. so you six might, months ahead almost yeah, yeah, there, yeah there yeah, you yeah. go so you also have to plan almost have to plan ahead you don't always get it right you could just think all right you know, I need to change something here. Do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. I'll try this and I'll try that. You don't always get it right. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But you just try things, man. And um, mm. I've just been very fortunate, really and truly, to um, always, you know, kind of land on my feet, whichever way, mm. way I've tried to turn, really and truly. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So, mm. you know. It's a good sh- it's- and the recent tune that you guys have done off the EP, right? Yeah, we're mm-hmm. shooting a video for that next week, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, 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 that would be sick. Nearly video time yeah, for that, yeah, yeah, Trying yeah. to do videos for all of them tunes, man. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. So, yeah, yeah. that's listening. the next in line. I was just listening to that on the way up here, man, but it's yeah. fine, yeah. man. I've yeah. been listening to that on the, in a gym. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what, I forget the name of the tune, the one with the kind of computer games, and it's just in the videos. Oh, well. Dial Up is the, the one with Rico from, yeah, yeah. Sick. The flows are not, man. Dial Up. The flows are sick. And people, I find it, increasingly mad to think that people just listen to songs for songs worth like mm. like the lyrics don't matter mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. patterns and rhyme scheme yeah, yeah, it's yeah. funny come on it's, it's funny that people listen there's like I can't remember who said it but some people with, with bars some people just literally listen to the song yeah. and that's it the general feel of the bars yeah. and they like that they yeah. hear it sounds nice on the ears yeah. that's cool then you've got the heads that get certain metaphors and they kind of get a little bit of what you're saying yeah, then you've got the deeper, heads that really know mm, oh, yeah. oh he just did yeah. 10 multis there yeah, yeah. and he just and dissected flipped. yeah they really know exactly what you're doing with the bars and why yeah. that one led to that one and, mm. and the schemes in the bars and everything mm. else so there's almost three layers yeah, to yeah, listening yeah. to so kind of right. bars I think do you know what I mean that's right what's the ultimate what do you reckon the ultimate situation is where where you've hit all three dynamic of people. Like is- some of those tunes that you got on that last album, on that last yeah. EP, do that. I personally think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean Spanner in the works. EP, Spanner in the works. EP is just flipping from, that shit is fire. from styles like some kind yeah. of B flows, some kind of hip hop flows, some kind of trappy flows. Almost like it's just different, different, yeah. different flows, man. And Dif- I think there's mm. hidden layers in the bars as well. Some people, yeah, again, will just enjoy the flows and mm. the vibe, and I oh, spitting fast. Some people will realize what I'm actually saying and some mm. of the metaphors and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned true. EPMD. There's even a really quick bar name, strictly. Business like EPMD in this subway. Oh, yeah. People, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? But yeah. not everyone will get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a man like yourself will yeah, hear that and be yeah, like, bro, yeah. man's actually like mm-hmm. man, coming with those kind of bars mm-hmm. on drum and bass. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's what's really cool. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's like picking like 
little as all the influences that fall into place. You know what I mean? Mm. And the genres as well, man. I mean, what did you grow up on like prior prior to any drum and bass? Oh me, that's, yeah. that's what a lot of people don't understand. I i grew up on music. Like my dad got me I started taking piano lessons when I was five years old. <laughs> yeah, piano lessons yeah. and I was proper good, good at piano. And then I actually started doing flute. I was on the flute for a little bit and started playing drums for a little bit. That's amazing. And then I went on to steel band. Dun, 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 quande, mm. quande, man. Yeah. Dude, I love that. Five big bass drums. I was on the bass, you know what I mean? That's so, incredible. So, I mean, I, you know, I love all types of music, you know what I mean? And people think that I'm just into drum and bass, but I'm into music, um, you know, chords, mm. keys, boom, boom, mm. melodies. Uh, mm. So even sometimes... With my drum and bass thing, sometimes I'll go on a little kind of not singing y, but there's some melodies in there. Do you know mm, what I mean? It's, yeah. For me, it's not all like da, 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 just pa, 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 some, especially with drum and bass. I mean, I've always felt that personally with drum and bass. I mean, most people just like brrr, yeah, tune comes on, you spit your bars or whatever. But me personally, drum and bass is so different and so verse. You can do different styles on different beats. Yeah. Mm. That's what I personally mm, think. Yeah. I don't think that you know. There's some MCs. You know, you can't say names or whatever. But some people MCs just MC straight. Boom, boom, mm. boom, 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 boom. You have any set. Bam, bam, bam. That's what they're doing. Mm. Me personally, I'm a little bit more into what's coming in and I hear the tune and think, oh shit, let me try this, let me try that, and just kind of skip around a little yeah. bit. So sometimes yeah. it's a freestyle thing. Sometimes it's off the cuff. Sometimes it's this or there but um, I just keep it moving man and just try and just mix it up a little bit as much as possible and not just sound so the same oh, yeah because like you say in drum and bass there's mm. there's very many sort of sub, sub genres within the genre yeah. so if you're rolling on like a, you know a set where the music's really loud and there's yeah. a lot of double drops yeah. let the tunes ride man yeah. let him yeah. work with the DJ yeah. more let yeah. him do his thing let him be the star of that yeah. show because what he's doing is just going to be a mess yeah. if he's trying to spit mm. bars all over that that's if right. you're working with the man and you're, sp- you're playing a lot of rollers and that's a lot of jump right. up that's when you can that's spray right. your bars and you'll both shine do you know what I'm saying that's it I mean I think you know drum and bass has changed a lot there's a lot of drum and bass at the moment it's like the drops are so heavy that personally I'm like okay let that drop roll for a minute and mm-hmm. then come in mm-hmm. and sometimes yeah. it gives me time to think okay let me come with this bar here let me hear the drop like, oh, this drop is sick like, alright cool after the first 16 yeah. or the first 30, 30 then I'll come in with something do you know I what I mean like mm. the wall of sound now mm. within the that's music. Right. That's right. Mm. And I, sometimes you come in on that job. I think sometimes you can mess it up a little bit. The music's so powerful and so yeah. good. Yeah. And I'm like, right, he's holding it. That everyone's going Whoa, about the drop. So yeah. sometimes you just give yourself five minutes. I yeah. think yeah, let man. them soak the drop for a little bit. Mm. Then if there's any 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 little flavors you can add on to it, then you add it. Yeah. Add then it's just. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be spicy when I say this. Mm. I'm, I'm obviously you know. It's up for debate. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't want to tread on anybody's yeah. toes who think otherwise, especially in this genre. But mm. I think when you come into... I, I certainly do a beatbox, and I, I know you would have mm. done with rap. Because of the musicality that you learn yeah. at an age, yeah. um, the level of um, skill set on genres mm. as generations pass, yeah. the, the, the bar goes to limbo, mm. and then you're able to take advantage of your... You know skills that yeah. surpass. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. saying, yeah. Yeah. which yeah. then makes it more of a playground for you to actually that's do something it. genre defining. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. I get exactly 100%, what you're saying. Hundred yeah. percent. I'd agree with that. Did yeah. I say that tactfully? Yeah. I, no, 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 I get what you're that's saying. Right. I get what you're saying. That makes sense. That makes I get what you're saying. Hundred percent, man. It just means that you're able to um, play within the joins, and I think some MCs. There's an insecurity about being up on stage. You need to be oh. doing something. So, mm. yeah. and, and then they start running too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll say that. I think it's a lot to do with the way the drum and bass has changed. It never used to be like that. I mean, because I remember that 10, 15 years ago, you'd, you'd always come in on the drop. You just, you just I think the music would demand it, man. Yeah, Whereas now there's like these people like Mackie G who are just making music. It's an anthem from the drop, and the yeah. crowd will then sing mm-hmm. along yeah, with, that, with, uh, with the uh, melody with the that he's created in the music. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they don't need a bar on that. You don't. Whereas if you just got, you know, like a classic drum and bass drop, like say a, a, like a classic Mampy yeah. Swift, the one. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Boom, yeah. you've got yeah, you've got yeah, to spit on that drop, and it's fire. It's it's fire. The combination of the MC and the DJ, and people like King of the Rollers, what they're doing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that sound, that that's more like you would be spitting on the drops and doing it. But there's definitely you know, there's so many different new styles rising in drum and bass. I'd say because there's been a lot of new producers coming right. over the last few years, right. well, bringing their own like influence clear, to it. Like I don't know any other genre that is, is well, apart from like thrash metal, mm-hmm. 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 like where there's just this hardcore audience that just. They love it. Worldwide yeah. as well. Yeah, 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 they don't yeah, give yeah. a fuck like what anyone I mean, else is listening think, to. They're doing I that. I think with yeah. the thing with the whole jungle, jungle drum and bass thing as well is that for the last couple of years we've been doing a lot of um, shows for the youngest. Mm. 16 plus shows so That's you're kind sick. of getting them in into it from early so mm, yeah. I mean like my daughter's been to rave from she was 14 mm. do you know what I mean but they're all 
all 14 yeah. year olds in there but yeah. they're drum and bass raves or jungle mm. raves and they love it from mm. 14, 15 yeah. and so it's nice and early so by the time they come 15, 16, 17 yo they're ready to rave yeah, 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 yeah. you know what I mean yeah, and, they're, they're, and they're already kind of into yeah. what, what we do they know who we are they know you know the likes of X-Man, Skipper, Harry Shot they, they know these guys mm. they've been going to these events from their 14, 15 some, some of them even a little bit younger you know what I mean mm. but that's where it really starts from and you know when people ask you know why do I think drum and bass has last so long I think that's partly to do with it as well to be honest mm. the fact that we're getting in there nice and early especially with um, some of the jump up events really it's, yeah. it's mainly with the jump up events it's you know the Logan D's the Magistrates and stuff like that yeah, and then yeah. Skipper Harry Shaw these these kind of events are available to kids from 13, 14 years old now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And there's um, a lot of them as well. When we do the half terms, there's like three or four under 18s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time That's they score insane. holidays. Yeah, yeah. That, you know I mean, mean you, you probably live up at Bristol sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like two, Bristol's three weeks. crazy, man. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? For drum and bass, especially the jump hop thing. Mm. Oh, they're just like, that's just like oh, another... It's like, yeah, it's crazy. Like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can they, find yeah, it. Yeah, they do Tuesday crazy. nights there. They do mm. Wednesday, Thursday. There's yeah. student nights. There's the ones for the under 18s. Yeah. There's your normal big kind of raves up mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. There's like the subgenre stuff. So you'll get like a Shogun night and then it's you'll almost, get a more jungle thing. Then you'll get a jump. Bro, it's mad up there right now. Almost, the wow. It's almost getting a bit overkill. Now. That's been like that for the last two, three years and it's been growing, growing, growing. And now like... An event on every day yeah, in town yeah. is a little bit like, what? A every day? Much, yeah. Maybe, yeah. You used to be able to get that, like, say, 10, 15 years ago in London, you used to have, like, loads of events on maybe mm. a Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. Mm. But then for a, for a good while, that all kind of slowed down. But Bristol, I think, has taken it up. Taken it up. Taken it up, taken it, up, much, taken it back yeah. up to that, where yeah. you can do, do yeah. events on any day. Bristol's always been like that, yeah. Yeah, it has. Always it has. It has. The original has Ronnie Sides, yeah, the yeah, Dynamite, and they've got their history and all that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they got red light. Yeah, all of that, man. So it's all good. fucking mad. Well, yeah. I mean, it's the thing, it's like, it's an entry hole into the bigger club culture. Mm. That's right. You guys have got like um, your own, you know, your own um, uh, motif vocals, you know, your own yeah. mottos and yeah, yeah, yeah. verses. And, and, yeah, 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 signature You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, you guys have, you know, come through and it's it's crazy that that new that new generation, we've heard, you know, you know what I mean? Mm. Your quotes and sing-alongs for fucking decades. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. But then, not. you know what I mean? They're coming in fresh. They're yeah, not. That's insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I said, I think, so I just, you know, kids are coming in from so early, man. So by the time they come to these big raves, a lot of them, the kids, they know a lot of our slogans. Yeah, well, that's it, A man. lot of them, do you that's know what I mean? I, really I think it comes, with, I think there comes a level of, um, well, certainly legacy, mm-hmm. but to, to be there, I mean, I get it too, you know, to be there. And then them to refer to something from ni- like 2003 where yeah. you did something, yeah. I think it adds complete, uh, it's the 360. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the value. Thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know, if it was it just last week or a couple of weeks ago, the random concept event, and it was like, I was on with DJ Zinc. Yeah. It's very old school, do you know what yeah, I mean? Man. Mm. I became one after DJ K Motions. He's very new school. New school, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But we've done such a good set that I was that I really that really made me think. Wow, that's really cool to come on after K Motions, mm. bang out with fresh new beats, mm. and then come on with DJ Zinc. It's a bit more old school. Shows you the yeah. music's timeless, yeah, man, yeah, and the saying. vibe is timeless. Trust me, you know playing, I mean? that you know, vibe is timeless. Mixing and tunes with like Super Shot Street uh, with some new shit as well, and mm-hmm. just mixing it all up. I was like, yeah, and the crowd mm. was fully responding to it mm. the whole way. I was yeah. like, yo, I was. I was really impressed by that. And I it's the that funk, isn't amazing. it? Definitely. It's, it's in there that you can't, Definitely. that undeniable, untangible mm. thing that's in drum and bass. It yeah. is the funk, brother. It is yeah. the vibe. Do yeah. you know what I mean? 100%. What do you reckon, Harry? Like, when, when uh, for instance, the, the new music, obviously that is a, it's a, it's a statement piece, I think. It, it, it exercises your versatility. Mm. Translating that into, because I suffer this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Translating what you're doing on record and then putting it into the live arena to which you're known for. Yeah. How do you, how do you, um, how do you face yourself with that? How do you... Yeah, in terms of actually performing the tracks, that can be hard because obviously you're working yeah. with a DJ. That's right. You know what I mean? That's why myself and Fantasy, a little while ago, we created a thing called the Harry Shotter Show. Mm-hmm. Nice. We could showcase our own material. Mm-hmm. So they'd book the Harry Shotter Show, then we'd play our own stuff within the set, pretty yeah. much our own material. Yeah. SSS now, you know, probably yeah. 90% of our set is our own stuff or stuff that's produced right. by Mackie G and Fantasy. Oh, so right. we found a little way to sort of showcase our own music. Our own things, yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, yeah. lyrically, most of the stuff that's on the EP, I will spit out live on the sets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that that will be fresh new material from the sets, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and the thing we did as well, like, you know, especially in the Unks days when I came in with Skibber and Fun, was that we started doing a lot of mixtapes because what I've noticed when I come into drum and bass and being a fan of it for years, mm-hmm. on the tape packs sometimes and the CD packs, you couldn't really hear the MC. That's and right. it's quite frustrating yeah. as mm-hmm. someone who's a fan mm-hmm. of the MC yeah. inside yeah. as well as the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, we thought, let's do studio mixes so people can hear our lyrics yeah, and learn right. our lyrics. Yeah, yeah. And we put out an 
so many mixtapes and that's kind of the, the done thing to do in drum and bass oh, now make right. a mixtape put it out there there's two SCSS ones out there a lot yeah. of the other guys are doing them as well yeah. so, so just that's rolling the out the, the tapes like, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. mixtapes you sell it all of the shows as well yeah you yeah, guys have got loads of merch. merch you guys have got loads of merch the merch thing's popping man the merchandise yeah. that's doing it's doing its thing man and we're always building with that trying to make other little links and just yeah. trying to make other little things because it's always more about it's more there's so much to add on to this whole drum and bass and we're just learning even even though we've been in it 20 25 years we're just learning about some of the things that the spin-offs off the back of it. Like there's mm. lots of sponsorships, sponsorship deals coming in, yeah, and different brand things partnerships, like that. this kind of thing. Like, these are things like ten years ago, you, you just go over your head, you don't even mm. think about these mm. things. But it's like slowly but surely they're coming in now. And we start, okay, mm. you know, we can do this. And with the social media as well, if people mm. see you've got a big reach and whatnot, you can do the partnerships on there. And mm. as well. You know, if it's, if it's a brand that kind of suits how you roll, Jimmy yeah. Big Up New Era, for instance, you know, that's right. Yeah, big up. Yeah, yeah, they hooked us up. No, we got also tried to teach TC. We're live. Yeah, big up with Gav, man. Up Gav, yeah, you know what I mean? That. And there's, yeah. that. But there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there doing their thing with the clothing, and there's yeah. not even just the clothing. There's all kinds of brands out there, drinks and yeah. energy drink, anything that kind of fits the ethos of what we do musically. We yeah. can kind of work with and, and cross pollinise, like man. Like you know? like as long as it fits what we're doing, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. We ain't yeah. gonna work with brands that don't fit what what we're about. Do you know what I mean? Right. But the right brands, baby sham or something like no, that. Baby <laughs> sham, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> killer, killer beer box, I like that. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, come on. You think you got a drink problem? <laughs> oh, good, uh, yeah, I remember like back in the day, Skiz. I'm going to keep on the back mm. in the day thing because there's going to be loads of people who are going to mm. ask some questions. You and Skib, um, you and Debt, yeah. um, were a firing combination. I remember two ton freestyle. That's right, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. that tune, that, I think that made a, a perfect, tra- correct me if I'm wrong, a yeah. wicked transition from what you do live. Yeah. It was just bar after bar. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I mean, the main Sitchin. reason why I started doing that, that kind of stuff, to be honest, and I mean, I've, I've said it once to us in, in interviews and stuff, but not necessarily on um, on a radio or podcast. For the anything. documentation. Yeah, for the yeah. documentation. <laughs> it was, for me, it was really around the time that Stevie Hyper D passed, you know, IYP. Yeah, um, IYP it was a thing it. like where, for me, when he passed, I just felt like, hmm, he seems to have just left, the, what he left behind was just like rave tapes. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? And I was like, I'm not sure if that's enough for me, like just to be left with rave tapes. I want to try and do something a bit more than that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And not only that as well, the, the kind of double time thing that we was doing, I kind of clocked on quite early that you could do it, you could do it on hip hop. Yeah. You could do it on the same mm. double time flows mm. as drum and bass, but on hip hop beats. Mm. So mm. so when I kind of clocked that, I thought, you know, let's just give this a try. It's something mm. different, a bit to the left, to the left. Let's try it out. As I said, mm. you know, sometimes you try things, hit or miss. They may or may mm. may not work. Do you know what I mean? You've got to give but it a shot. I, you've got to give it a shot. Mm. So I Mate, think that's Can you imagine how gassed I was? Mm. As a fan of Skibber and a hip hop kid, mm. when I heard him on these hip hop beats <laughs> yeah, with Debt, yeah, 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 yeah. I was just like, "Rah, this is a match." Yeah, 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 yeah. To hear the man them on hip hop, I was yeah, like, "Wow!" Yeah, 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 that was my yeah. intro music for at least three years of my touring. Yeah, my first two times freestyle track, yeah, yeah slow mo, drop flow, yeah, yeah, we yeah, dropped yeah, that yeah. into MOP. Into yeah, you know I mean, it was that was it. Yeah, right. so be up like DJ Skill Electric, yeah, man. Yeah, as I'm saying, them times you don't realize how you're affecting on what you do. Just do it. You know, I'm just trying something else. And as I said, I hear you be fearless with it it may work it may not work but I'm feeling this it's a little bit to the left let's give it a look because that stuff that I was doing it's, mm. to me you could do it with your eyes closed and it was like bed and brighter you can do it it's just like whoa, 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 whoa. yeah you can do it it's nothing yeah. it was not hard it's mm. not really a challenge do you mm. know what I mean so trying to do some of these other things was for me it was just really a bit of a challenge and I don't when you do things like that you have to be it's okay if you don't if it's not as successful as whatever you just try it do you mm. know what I mean because you, you know what that's not the point is it because like mm. you imagine well arguably there were been a few cul-de-sacs along the way with that tune as an idea as a con- yeah. and you just let it go and let yeah. it go out to sea yeah, yeah, yeah. we resonate with it mm. and then no. for all you know things like this are all sitting here yeah. just by that one decision that's right keep, you don't know that's you just right. don't know man you never know mm. you never know yeah. so we always just keep it keep trying things you know yeah, what I mean man, always okay. I remember when I first made the conscious decision of I'm going to put beatbox to record mm. and it wasn't anything to do with that artistic property of it you know reinventing mm. the wheel and my mm. you know mini ego I had it was more like I I saw Chester P and Farmer G mm-hmm. performing their second album at Scala mm. and I see no one knowing their songs but then they'll play their first album and everyone goes off mm. and I'm sitting there in the crowd thinking oh hang on a minute that's because they got two albums wow. mm. they're building their repertoire that's right. mm. and all of a sudden the penny drops it Oh, they're, they're going to be around for a long time because yeah, they've got yeah, repertoire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah exactly, yeah. yeah. That's you what it's mean? all about. That's yeah. exactly what it's all about. So, you know, it's just a case of, oh, fuck, okay, let's just work it out. You know, everything yeah. else is just like, okay, let's just go, go, go. 
And it's good to have a mission, isn't it? Of course. Definitely. It's the mission 100%. brief, isn't it? That's what it's 100%, man. 100%. Mm. And them guys are still out there now, man. Big up Chester, big up Farmer. Yeah. Always, yeah. always yeah. putting in work. Original Dons. Very inspirational yeah. alongside Skinny Man, do you know Come what I mean? Come on. Yeah. Like Berry Crew thing. Big up London Posse as well. Yeah. London Posse. Come on. Come on. Come on. I went to the show, man, at Jazz Cafe. Them, man, killed it. I see you. That's the day before Snowball and Skinny. Yeah, yeah. It was really good. Fire, man. Ty. Black Twang, then Rodney, then they all come and done their thing at the end. Oh my God, yeah. Masterful, wow. bro. When it's like when you yeah. see them do the fire in the booth, it's just three masters at work, do you mm. know what I mean? And I love that. The way that in the, the fire the booth, fire booth, they they literally, it was like designated lanes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, that one, that one. <laughs> yeah. You guys have done a couple of them as well. You've done a couple of freestyle sessions, haven't you? Like SASS. We've done, we've yeah. done, we've done, we've done a lot of, we've done SASS with Target, but yes. we did That's a drum and bass fire in the booth with Charlie. Mm. That's right. Which That's was right. a big, big thing one. for us, man. It had like nearly, I think it's got nearly two million views on the one extra one. It's got over a million views on Charlie. So it's over three million views combined that was blowing. I yeah. remember seeing that myself. Right, it yeah. went absolutely mad because yeah. what I've you know Charlie basically stepped to me and he said can you I know Skibber can you bring Skibber but then can you bring some other guys mm. who you rate because I don't mm. really know anyone else mm. I only mm. really know you and Skibber yeah. Yeah. so yeah. I thought rah man X-Man is very of talented course. lyrically of course. Yeah. and he's been around in a long time he, he, he's the man, course, man. so he he's, deserves a, a, to, to jump on this set and show the world he doesn't right. drum and bass how good he is his wordplay and skills is different incredible so then I was like but rather than I could have just played safe and brought in a few of the other kind of more heavyweights, I thought let me bring in some of the youngers. Yeah. So let me bring I in Drex. That was wicked as well, man. Do you know what I mean? As a grimer, Drex that and was As a grimer, who they're people. bringing their own flow to the table. Yeah, they're, 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 boys as well. they're yeah. the new guys coming yeah. through, new Fresh. energy. That's so, what I yeah. love. Yeah. So it was yeah. a mixture of yeah. like you know me, yeah. Skibber and X, and then As a grimer and Drex, which created something quite powerful. It man. gives Definitely. me goosebumps as I'm about to say this. Right, the, the, the whole idea of like drum and bass going so full circle, you guys fitting in a pocket with youngers, and and it 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 felt like it was in its own. Incubated world of mm -hmm. like, don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. what it felt like. You're right, you're it. right. So you was able to try things. That's why. That's why you had the green light to try things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? One thing I noticed with, with drum and bass is that I personally think anyone you can do anything. Anyone could be an MC because I think it's all about that individuality and what you bring mm -hmm. to it. It's going to be different mm -hmm. to anything that anything. If, if you focus on your shit and you craft your shit. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody else will, unless you're just listening to somebody else and copying, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's that, but with a lot of the kids that, when, you know, when people ask, you know, what do you do? How do you get through this? Somebody's asking me the other day in, um, in Epidemic, funny enough, like, Skip's like, how do you get that? But I want to get in, I want to get in. I was like, bro, don't listen to anybody else. Mm -hmm. Just just do your thing, like, mm -hmm. create your thing. Because mm -hmm. I haven't even heard you yet, but the way he was so confident, like, Skip's like, mm -hmm. I'm in there, mm -hmm. blah, blah. I was like, bro, do you like you might you might oh yeah I'm trying to get in here trying to get in there it's not really happening I said bub don't worry about none of that just mm -hmm. focus on you develop what you can mm -hmm. do do it good mm -hmm. do it more more so mm -hmm. true pick a, pick something up every day you see something just build, 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 build a bar about it bro just build mm -hmm. a bar about this build a bar about that build a, set yourself mm -hmm. a goal just, just run just do it man yeah. your style it doesn't matter whatever you're hearing mm -hmm. whatever anyone wants to just do you make I your style really good and I was like there's going to be a time when somebody will hear you and be like, rah, my man's sick. Mm. Yeah. That's 100%. it. That's all you need yeah. to do. So don't watch anybody else what anyone's saying, oh, this and don't worry if you're not getting a break here, a break here. That's the time for you to go mm. harder, go harder, go harder, go harder. harder, go harder, go harder. Yeah. Someone's yeah. going to hear you and be like, ooh, who's mm. that? That's sick. I've never heard that before. And that's what the gas the key. You yeah. know what it is? You know what it is? Mm. There's a jazz tendency to, not just the people doing drum and bass, but the, art, the fans themselves. Mm. Style is still, it still reigns supreme. It does. Mm. And with a lot of a lot of yeah. genres, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, not fucking targeting any one particular, but I, I think the, the lack of, like, education as far as that goes. When someone comes up to you and says, how do I do it? No, you do no. it. You just work that's it out. That's what I'm saying. That's, yeah, what, that's exactly name, what it is, man. bro. Do you. Don't watch mm -hmm. anybody else and don't watch, you know, how far you're getting at that. Do just it for your peers. Do it for you, bro. Do it for your peers and for you and just get into your own bag and get in, develop that. You get yeah. it? Because no one can do it like you. Trust and me. I hadn't even heard this guy yeah. before, do you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I was just like, bro... Just do you. Because I could see it was a good question. I was like, right, I like that. The way you mm. so just yeah. asked and put me to one and said, yo, Skip, how do you X, Y, Z? And yeah. I was like, you know what, bro? Boom, just, I gave him five, ten minutes. Yeah, bro, just get into your bag. Mm. Whatever you're doing now, work harder. Yeah, exactly. Times that by For ten. Because ev everyone's entry into the game is going to be different. Though. That's right. Do you know what I mean? It's not, there's not one set rule, man. You know what That's I mean? Right. It's obviously the standard things. You need to be original, like yeah. what you're saying. Like, if you're carbon copying someone, you're not going to, you're cutting the skibber flow, yeah. you're trying to build a little shot. Yeah. You're not mm. going to break through because there's already a shot or a skibber, there's mm. already an X, X, you know. That's and you're why just not going to break through. That's, that's why I brought right. those youngers to fire in the booth because yeah. Dreps is totally original. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got his own flow and his own lane, his own presence. Azza and Grimer created their own flow on drum and bass. off the back of that show because I had people like Danae. When that guy say, Yo, who's this
we know them guys really well, so you know we're down for bringing them in, man. Mm. They're really good. They're, yeah, they're, yeah they're... we're not, you know, like we're not like kind of trying to block people either. Mm. If people are good, we want to help. We want to work with them. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? There's things, there's things, there's second, there's things we can learn off them, of course, mm-hmm. because they've yeah. got some fresh shit, mm. yeah. and there's a lot of stuff they can learn off us because they're experienced. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, t- I talk to them guys a lot about studio and, mm-hmm. and sometimes song structure, mm. and yeah. you know. It, 100 bars is great, put it on a freestyle, but when you're making a song, it's a different thing. It's a different, different thing. Different, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, interesting. I mean, it can be quite therapy. I mean, I certainly get that kind of therapy value when people um, approach me asking about certain technical things or how to do things. In f- actually, in fact, a lot of people, when I have chats with people, it inspires me. Like, they may not have even said the thing I'm thinking, but it mm. almost fills in a blank in your head and you're like, oh, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's an idea. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. something that relates to your own style. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Right. definitely, you can definitely learn man. something every day, man. Mm. It just helps to develop your own thing. Do you know it's what I mean? culture. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Do you, uh, do, do, you, do you plan on making an album yourself, Skibs? I'm, you know what people ask me this all the time that's I mean, the $40,000 <laughs> you, you, you can't you wouldn't understand how much tunes this guy's got how many tunes I've made with him just me you've made with Skibar I've probably made three albums with Skibar and stuff so imagine what he's got in his, imagine what he's got in his own yeah. right yeah. see for me like, I, on, I, I, I make, I've always made tunes like but I've always made tunes just for the sake of just doing tunes I've never really made tunes to like hey I want to put out a new release or a new album I just like doing it do you know what I mean from the time I'm at home I've always been able to record myself at home Mm-hmm. That's my been my thing from day like from as a like, kid like from the time I got into it and started trying to make tunes or whatever I can record myself at home so I've always done that in mm-hmm. my own time I'll be up all night just like boom boom that tune may never see the light of day but it's just for me it's mm-hmm. just and I just enjoy doing it and just mm-hmm. working out and maybe listening back to it in a, in, you know in a week or two or whatever think mm, let me do that again boom let me sharpen it up boom I love that all that mm-hmm. stuff I just I can be always working at the craft and yeah, it is that's mm-hmm. always working at the craft you know mm-hmm. I just love doing that stuff mm-hmm. just you'd be part, surprised mm-hmm. what actually gets re um, plumished into the, the that's right yeah that's right a lot of stuff does. that's right hundred percent man when you I mean, I am bouncing back and forth because I've got fucking you two here. So, like, yeah. lethal days. Yeah. So, w- how old were you in that? So, you were like 14, 15? In that particular photo, I was probably. I was in secondary school, so I was about 13, I reckon. 14, something like that, yeah. 15, yeah. Yeah. Real young. Jesus Christ. I thought, yeah, we were definitely the same age when that thing popped up. Represent Magazine was quite a fundamental. That That's was right. wicked hip hop publication. That was, yeah, yeah. And my man used to do the phone into Westwood and all that as well. Mm, and mm. he'd tip Westwood of who was calling cool the UK. That's when Westwood mm. first got on Radio 1, them kind of times. Do you remember yeah. Hard to Kill? The rap yeah, Southside Assassin. Southside it. Assassin. That's my boy, man. Did you, ever, did you ever check it when he was on Westwood and he did the homegrown UK hip hop calling yeah, spit of yeah, verse? Yeah, 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 yeah. He killed her. Oh, <laughs> Southside Assassin was the guy, brother. I think that's the one time he said the lyric about Craig Mack. Yeah. That's yeah, right. your mum looks like Craig Mack and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. My, another guy I used to work with all the time back in the day, Fury, he used to host that a lot at the time. I ended up doing a tune with him as well, man. Fury, I remember Fury. Remember it? Yeah, yeah and, he went to, and he went to Nottingham and worked with Mr. Four Five. Is that what he did? Yep, so, and then um, I, I, I lost contact with him, man. But there's been so many people over the, uh, from that period. Yeah, that era. You know, that you, you just don't see no more. But I did, uh, at the Kingdom show, I did see a few people. I see Q Rock from Son of Noise. Mm. That's right. I see, see a few of the older guys, man, who are still about, still watching. They're still yeah, on it, man. Awesome still talk to Blade. Remember, to Blade Throw. Uh, yeah. Remember Fusion? Yep, Fusion. Fusion. So he's still about. Yeah, yeah, He's done yeah. the stuff with Fallacy and all That's that. Right, yeah, 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 he's doing a lot of work still, yeah. Yeah. Show. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, wow. That, that, that. Did you mess with that, didn't you? You yeah, did some that, stuff. Yeah, that, was, that was your hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying. Oh, what's the one that uh, Shy Effects? So skip it, double, 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 skip it, skip it. Oh, that's the I'm gonna give it the, you're going to give me the Shy Effects? Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, intro. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that, yeah. man, a long time ago. Bro, bro. I remember when that came up. I remember sitting there, it was like debuting on, on Radio 1 or something. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember the DJ just pulling it off. Like going, mm-hmm. I've had enough of that. Yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. I, just I, didn't, like, I just didn't get it. I was it. like, fucking yes. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yeah, like, I just didn't get it. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Because Shy yeah. was really going mainstream at that time. I remember yeah. like he did the Shake Your Body tune, which yeah. was massive. That's right. And then that was the follow-up tune. That's right. Yeah, I went yeah, to the video know. shoot and I was like, boy, the vi- yeah. it was a huge video Funny shoot. Funny enough, that Shake Your Body, the first tune he did, because I, I was, remember my cousin Glenn? Glenn yeah, Akins, yeah, yeah, yeah. Glenn. He works for Relentless and stuff. So I was like, I slipped that tune to Glenn first. I was like, bro, Listen to this. I feel say this is going to be it's and then fire, yeah. I think, about, and then they, they signed that first tune, I think. I, I can't think, remember who signed it. I know, poly, or, I know or, Universal or, signed the publishing because he was kind of in the mix at that's that time. That's right. We were in there, man. Godfrey was in the mix yeah, and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my Could time, have been relentless, man. but it was a big tune, man. Definitely, man. And obviously, Glenn, man, his cousin has now signed Krypton Conan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my cousin. It's really the small world. Pedigree's so real. You know what I'm saying? 
he's put him, signed a, quite a lot of people. Even who's he doing now? Um, Emil Sunday, what's her name? I think she's Emil Sunday. Emil Sunday, yeah, 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 yeah. Like some big artists, you know what I mean? Oh, so he's so solid, was legendary, relentless, yeah, original. Right. Of course, as well. yeah, relentless, um, original. Yeah. Roll deep, they've done some stuff with Roll deep, roll deep as well. Yeah, they've been about, man. Yeah, that's insane. Isn't small world, small world. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah, though we're yeah. drum and bass, we're mad connected to everybody. Mm. Like there's hip hop heads, the, like, grime, yeah. the grime heads, the garage, garage. heads, like boom boom. And that's why even a lot of people hit me like, yo, skateboard, skateboard. It's like show me bare lover and that. Do you know because we're very connected, man. Mm. We've been around mm. for, for a very long time. Um, you know yeah, I, mean? I swear to God, there's so many like fault lines. Yeah, and. Mm. I think that's a real asset to UK scene because, of you know what I mean? Mm, mm, like, definitely, man. I don't, I, I don't actually remember the time where it was ever fragmented. It's just the, the DNA is so, so tight. That's right. It is tight. It is tight. Because when right. you think about it, you know, you had Skipper Shabba, man, mm -hmm. and, but before even Navi and Moose and all yeah. those kind of the Ragga Twins. You know, Big on Moose. And then, oh it, my God. then it goes to Sound Systems, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But, yeah. but the, Papa from, San. <laughs> yeah, but from Skipper and Shabba, obviously, Dizzy and D-Double was all inspired. Mm. Mm. They'll tell you, man, Kano, everybody, they put it in the gets, they'll put yeah. it in their bars. Skipper yeah. Shabba, Skipper Shabba. That, yeah. that, was, that was what they listened yeah. to on a day to day. Yeah. 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 And then now they've inspired the next generation That's to come right. through. And then, then you've got the next, bro, it's mad how it's moving. And they know in reference who the names are. They want to go and research the names, probably in the same way they want to discover what a sample yeah, yeah, yeah. There's reference points now. That's right. Yeah. It's, it's getting crazy. crazy. It's mad. It's all crazy, man. It's yeah. good. Good luck, man. It's, it. it's, it's mad, isn't it? From when, like, from when it started to now, when you've got someone like who's as big as say, Stormzy now, mm -hmm. who's part of that lineage of that. You know, he's basically come. He's like the the, the, the face of the mainstream of kind of yeah. where we all come from now. Yeah. Doing yeah. it on his own terms and just yeah. breaking rec and selling like number one record last two weeks. It makes in you yeah. proud, doesn't it? Yeah, makes yeah, you yeah, I'm yeah, so yeah. pleased for people. Yeah, and I don't know him personally, but I'm so proud when I see the youths doing these kind of moves. That's it, man. Big moves. Power moves, man. We've all like Even, over the years that yeah. that, that jar, man. We've been trying to yeah, yeah, bust open that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Man like gigs, <laughs> man like gigs as well. Like you know what I mean? It's great but to see all their achievements, man. Yeah. Wicked, bro. It's good. The URL, the oh. rap. League, yeah. you know, mm. yeah, yes, um, yes. I was only talking about this the other day. I'm doing a beatbox week, so I've got loads of beatboxes coming through. And uh, we were talking about the championships, beatbox wise, and how that kind of mirrors the DJ mm -hmm. DMC culture, yeah. the URL, the rap league, mm -hmm. the, the way that that influences everybody and yeah. the competitive spirit. Yeah. Mm. How's that sit with you guys? How does, how does the competitive aspect well, of that? Take this one first. What of that show? What of, 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 what of, of MCing? Well, you know what, to, help, to be honest, drum and bass MCing. You know, it's not as like in terms of. I mean, there was a little stage where we had a little kind of war thing I going. Can, <laughs> I can see him treading on lily pads. Really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, was, there, was, there was a lyrical war. There was a time when we had that, and then but that, but that was a time, you know, where you had to boom. All right, if you're in it, you're in it, bro. Cash it, man. But to be honest, you know what I mean. The main thing about drum and bass, drum and bass for me personally, what I've noticed about drum and bass and that jungle, it's not necessarily all about that. And there was a time where, like, the whole MC thing was kind of just, like, kind of smothering it a little mm. bit. Um, mm. And I'd say it was probably about the time that MC convention started, to be honest. Because then, you, you like, you had, like... Well, that was the first time you had more MCs than DJs on the flyer. Mm. And the MCs were the central point And the, the MCs were the, mm. the, were, the, were the main part, you know what I mean? The MCs yeah. were above, and then you had all the DJs yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah. this yeah. That DJ, that DJ. But, you controversial know, you know, at the time, It was quite man. controversial, Crazy, yeah. to be mm. honest. You know what I mean? Even I was a little bit on the fence then, because I could kind of see what was going on. I was like, ooh, yeah, I'm yeah. not sure. Because I know that it was pissing off a lot of people, <laughs> yeah, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's not how things are done in drum and bass, jungle drum and bass. It's always really about, you know, DJ, -led DJ first, the music, yeah. the, system, the production. Yeah. It's really about that. Do you know what I mean? So on that side of things, we've always been trying to like bully our way in and getting mm. the, oh, I want a piece of this action. Don't we want to make mm. something for ourselves within this? You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it hasn't always been easy. But sometimes, but sometimes we just kind of just like, fuck it, we're doing this. This is what we're doing. Boom. Yo, what? MC convention, yeah, come on, fam, boom, boom, mm. let's just do it, boom. Yeah. Kick open the doors, man. Kick open the doors, mm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. I remember the first MC convention we did in, in Stratford Rex, we had 2,000 people. I was there, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Just, just, just as a fan, you get me? So oh, it was just like, oh, God, it's crazy, yeah. man. I remember the big balling, fucking, just must have been just painted on fires all over. Yeah, him, him and Shabba everywhere, yeah. yeah. Man. Shabba, man, big up Shabba. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, big up yeah. Shabba. Ooh. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, oh, Shabba. Man. Shabba. Big yes, up. Yes, yes. But yeah, I know, I know what Skips is saying about obviously drum and bass, it isn't so much about the competing with the bars, but in a sense it kind of is as well, but not yeah, yeah. not so personal not sometimes. Not so personal. But every, I think as MCs, you always compete. You get, you, mm. Do you, you know what I mean? But it's friendly competition. There you go. Do you know what I mean? It's mm. like, you know, when, so, when, when man get on the set sometimes, we just... 
Yeah. So, you know, sometimes me and X-Man, for instance, we just go relentless, bro, because mm. it's just like, mm. if it's the right DJ and that's the vibe, yeah. we just try, it brings the best out of each other. It's yeah. competition, but it's friendly. It's sports. Yeah. It's a sport. Yeah. Sportsmanship. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's how yeah. I view it. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So on a very, on a very sportsman's-like uh, <laughs> answer, uh, who are your favourite DJs to be uh, rolling like, around? People always ask me that, you know, and it's quite a hard one, to be honest, because... Especially when you're in me personally, I'm into all types of drum and bass. Mm. I love all types of drum and bass. It wasn't. I don't necessarily love drum pop more than anything else. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Even though that's what that's kind of my bread and butter. Mm-hmm. But I love hosting as well. Mm. I love hosting. I I can host a, a liquid set. I can host a, a dark set or whatever. Me personally, I mm. love it when it's all mixed up. Mm. A bit of jungle here, <coughs> a bit of jump up there, a yeah. bit of dark thing, a bit of this. I, that's what I prefer. Yeah, I, I the love. prototypes and Danny Bird. They kind of and there TC. They yeah. kind of do that yeah, kind of yeah, vibe. Yeah, very yeah. mixed genre. Yeah, I like I, that. I love yeah. that. I love all that stuff. Do you know what I mean? I do think where we are kind of known as being jump up MC. Sometimes we don't necessarily get asked to do those kind of events. You know what I mean? Like something a little bit different. But I love yeah. them. I love yeah. them. Me personally, I love ne- not necessarily having to MC brrr, full pelt throughout the whole hour. Mm-hmm, I yeah, love yeah. this. Like, yeah, right, let, me, let me ease back a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's the next one. Let me jump in a little bit. I love just mixing it all up. More personally. articulate, isn't it? There you go, man. Yeah. There you go. And I think it gives the music, because especially now, as I said before, the music, especially with the drops, they kind of speak for themselves a little bit. So mm-hmm. you've got to be kind of just like, well, all right, let me do a little bit here, a little bit there. You don't necessarily have to. These days, a lot of up and coming MCs. When you know you hand them mic, the mic, they hand the microphone to them, it's like blam, straight in. Mm. Whether it's good or not, do you know what mm. I mean? But they just think that that's the way to go. Like, right, I need to spit bars, 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 bars. Sometimes over the drops, over the breakdowns and stuff like that. Mm. It's not really. You must get fearful when it comes to handing that mic over, knowing that someone's <laughs> going to do that. Well, you know what, to be honest, drum I mean, bass is, yeah. the thing is, drum and bass is quite policed. Like, mm. it'd be very rare that there'd be someone who wasn't really ready to be on a set with Skibber. Mm. Mm. It'd be mm. someone who kind of paid their dues. I think you mean the next set or whatever, and yeah, it? Like, the next yeah, set yeah. coming on, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I get but, it, um, mm-hmm. yeah, in terms of what you said about, like, favourite DJs, that, that's the beauty of drum and bass again, that, mm. like, you know, I might be working with Hazard one week, which mm. is one thing. Yeah. I might be working with Mackie G in Fantasy with SSS, yeah. which I love the next week. Yeah. I might turn up and be working with this guy, Benny L, who's smashing it at That's the moment. Right. So That's every right. experience is different. It's different, I'm telling you, because mm. even that Zinc set that i done a couple of weeks ago, I was like, oh my gosh, this mm. set was so sick. It, yeah. The vibes were sick. And I just loved it because it was mixed. It was a good mixture of old school and new school. Class. There was a sharp shooter in yeah. there. There was just a music, man. there was a chasing status tune to begin with. You know, some sharp, super sharp shooter. Mm. Some you know mixing it up, and yeah. it was just like yo. And I haven't really even seen that for a little while. That mm. I didn't even know what to expect. You know, mm-hmm. I haven't played that with, with Zinc for four, five, six years maybe. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I didn't yeah. really know what to expect. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the way he came through, and the way we done that set, and the way we had it, uh, the vibe and the energy after. Somebody so current as K Motions, mm-hmm. Trigger and Bass Man, mm-hmm. I was like, wow, I was I was really impressed with that. That's mm-hmm. fire. Oh, so sick, man. I was just like, I miss, I miss, like, I love a good like the way Goldie would just like play the tune right. Through. Oh, that's yeah, I like yeah, that as well. I love that. These days, people do very quick mixes. I will very say that. Quick, so know? it's nice sometimes it's, to yeah. switch. I mean, yeah. I mean, I worked with Randall the other week, for instance. Oh, yeah. what, what, what a set! Man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I bet. the selections. That's the man, what I'm couple, man was and coming with. I'm, I weren't hearing that. I'm not hearing that anywhere else anywhere apart else. from a Randall set. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I was like, where was it? Warning, Cambridge. Yeah, mm, you know what I mean. He's sick. Bro. And I couldn't believe. Mm. I knew Randall was levels. I've worked with him before, but it's been a little while. Do you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, wow. Like you said, Sims, and these rhythms you could spit on, but they was just so loud. It was blind. I was like, I can't even spit time. from it. I had to take five for a minute. Just five. Like, yeah. That's like, what I'm let me saying. Just enjoy this rhythm. That's just, what I'm just saying. Just out for a minute. You know that's what I mean? That's exactly <laughs> what I mean, man. I love that. Yeah. Sick though, And man. that's the thing. That's, me, me and Skip Skip is the same as me. I still love the music, man. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, I was into my hip hop hard doing hip hop stuff, but I was going raving to drum and bass. I was, yeah, a, fan, I was a fan of it. Street culture, man. So for me to do it, I never even thought of doing it. As a, as a job MC into mm. it, I was just a massive fan wow. of it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. through being a fan of it and linking yeah. people and local DJs, yeah. and then I was always good friends with Fun, and then mm. I, I started doing hip hop. That's Skip what I was going to say. Mm-hmm. So you know, obviously, you know, I, I, I almost know what your answer would be. But that transition from hip hop to drum and bass was mm. it easy? Was that an easy transition? There's there's things of it that was easy, and there's things that were hard. Like in terms, of, I was already used to quick rapid fire flows. I was mm. doing that on hip hop. Was my clarity was there? Mm. Clarity, clarity, man. Clarity, had, clarity for days. Clarity, clarity yeah. and all that. There. So certain things I had. Clarity shot, isn't it? But but there was. There's things about learning about being on a set. 
you know what I mean, about yeah. certain DJs that, you know, like say Mampi Swift, for instance, when I first worked with Mampi, I didn't really know how to work to with to him. Work it, yeah. And then over time, you I kind of work. really you learned know, so how he yeah. does it. And then, and, then, yeah. and, then, and then he was requesting me to work with him if, mm-hmm. if you know, Ice is oh, his main man. But do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If Ice yeah, wasn't yeah. around, can I have shot her? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So things like that, there's things you learn. Um, voice projection also, you know mm-hmm. I mean? Drum and bass, man, it's, it's very loud. Compared to yeah. hip hop, you do a sound check and it's uh-huh. lovely. You can hear yourself most yeah. of the time anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? But in drum and bass, the music's so loud. Sometimes you haven't got monitors. That's right. You know, one time I couldn't hear myself and like, so I'm shouting. In, mm. And I can't remember. One of the MCs come up to me and he said, "Shots, you don't need to shout, bro. You sound good out there. Do mm. you, you lose your voice? Do you know what yeah. I mean? And that's that's things I had to learn over time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you have nine bookings a weekend. That's you know, right. don't don't yeah. kill your voice because there's, yeah. there's work throughout the whole weekend. That's right. You got to you pace know, yourself out. Try and make sure there's monitors Can on I the just stage. Say nine. <laughs> yeah, booking. yeah, I've done nine on Easter weekend. Yeah. No, no, else was, the same, yeah, bro. Right. Yes. We was talking yeah. about coming over, and then mm. you were like, "I'm a bit busy," and it still kind of makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a lot of work, man. A lot, of, a lot of work, man. But that's one of the things that, for me, to still be getting that kind of level of work after so many years is like something that you're just like, "Yo, thank God for." You have to be thankful, so, man. Grateful. So you have to show a lot of gratitude for to you know. And also, you've... rest in peace, Storm. As yeah, well, rest in peace, Storm. Man, come I don't think I ever. Cross paths with with him. Yeah, really, man. man. He was a don, man. He was someone that would, he would be here now. Trust yeah. me, man. He'd, yeah, he'd, 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 he'd be up. He'd, he'd come up. He'd be up for the things like that. He's always yeah. on it. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't doesn't rest. Doesn't sleep. He's always making. You know, he makes more music than than us. To be yeah, honest, he was yeah. on the music thing hard. He, man. On it, man. He's and got, he's obviously he come from the grime scene, so he had that work ethic in him. That you know, a lot yeah. of the guys from the grime scene, they work yeah. in the studio ethic. It's mm, crazy. Madness, next yeah. level. Because that's the part of their culture. You that's, go studio, you you clash, and yeah, yeah, you know, you go to the raves, and you know what I mean. But it's, mm. it's a lot of studio work and mixtapes mm. and that. Look at P Money's output. Do you know what I mean? Ridiculous. Yeah. Storming, yeah. Storming was like yeah. very inspirational in that sense in drum Definitely. and bass. The way he come in drum and bass and. To me as well, the way he would command a stage, man. You know what I mean? He had a yeah. massive stage presence. He was oh, such yeah. a loss to us personally and in the group SSAS mm. because obviously it was him, Shadow, and then you me had and your hip hop influences That's and you right. guys. All, it's just yeah. a yeah. crazy yeah. combination. Yeah. 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 Was goody. Boy, there's a lot. There's a lot coming there's up, man. Going on, Let's man. give you one go first. You go first. I'll go first. Bro, right, cool. You go first. Well, man. In, in the present, I've, I've just been. I've been recording like a madman this year, man. Because Wait. because yeah, last year when I had my little boy, I didn't really go studio as much. I was just taking a little bit of time out yeah. for the family thing, and I was doing loads of shows. Mm-hmm. Our, our touring shows schedule was, was mad, was so when I wasn't doing that, I was trying to do the family thing. So I didn't do as much of a studio work last year. Whereas this year, I've been going hard, man. Spanner's the mm. first EP, which is out now. You can get it on all platforms. I've got another EP, all full, fully vocal, ready to go. Mm. I've got a single I'm looking to do with Azra and Grime, the guys mm. you mentioned earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, SSAS are working on a new mixtape mm-hmm. coming soon with, all, orig- with all original yep. material rather than other people's beats and that kind yep. of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a few other things, man. Just so feature, much stuff. The feature Loads as well for Rail Rider. Do you want to see? Oh, yeah, I'm going to get on that. Yeah. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. when I'm away, I'm going Can't to New wait. Zealand, not this week, next week for some shows. So when I'm on the plane, I'm going to do so much writing. writing bro. Yeah. That's when I'm going to take the time to do the writing. I write you got to get it. Oh, respect. you got to get it you got to get it in. You know, yeah. you've got to find your time. I mean, right. you'd really like, especially when you're going to time differences and, mm. you know what I mean? It's mm, like, yep. you've just got to find your moments, haven't yeah, you? Of course, Definitely. man. Use that time wisely, man. Definitely, man. 100%. Well, uh, myself, I'm doing some different, loads of different stuff. I've got a thing going on with Demolition Man at the moment. Actually. Demo, big up Demo, Demo. yeah. No one really knows about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He sent me some beats and nice things, some bits and pieces. Legacy, He's done man. one or two hooks for me and stuff. Um, I've just been really playing around on, still really playing around on loads of different genres and that. Sometimes, I, mean, I got a batch of beats the other day and I love that when you can't pigeonhole what it is. Yeah. Mm. I love yeah. that shit. And mm. so it kind of almost forces you to come up with a new flow. That's, that's you I have love to. That. Like, I, I love that. that. That's, that's yeah. the wicked. I love yeah. doing stuff like that. Like, oh, what's this? Yeah. And then, <laughs> okay, cool, cool. And just to me, it's like a challenge. It's, like, it's almost like a puzzle. Yeah. And you got to find something to fit this. You know, and make that's a better in the work stream was like there that for go. me. When I heard there that mad beat he made, I was like, Wow, that's why mm. the works is ridiculous. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but it's, the, it's the beat that inspired it because you that even the director Chaz who made the video, he's like, I just I love it, but I can't define it. Mm. There you go. Is it yeah. I mean, is I it, love what that is shit. it like? That's, I, I can't love define that shit. That shit man. That's that's what I love about yeah. music these days, and and I think that's what's good about UK music to be honest as well. It's mm. so fresh in terms of you can do anything, yeah. and you can you can do anything. Do you know what I mean? You obviously yeah. got to have the quality in there as whatever, but you can go any tempo, any 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 direction, and just mm. do it. And that even though we're drum and bass guys. Oh, it's shown that on we've been spanning works. You can flip it, man. Yeah. You, can, you can do different different vibes, different tempos, different yeah. styles. 
and the capability is there, and, man. And so the UK's got a history of that, bro, from, mm. from yeah. punk music yeah. to drum and bass to yeah, jungle yeah. to grime. We've always gone against the grain, you know. When, right. when, the grime, when the grime kids couldn't even, because some of them wanted to get into drum and, drum, yeah. drum and bass and yeah. they couldn't get in because yeah, it was kind of lock off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they created their I don't own know how thing. I got in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up SS all yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Big up. But that's what I'm saying. They created their own thing. They got on PlayStations and made beats that, all right, you ain't got to compete with Dr. Dre beat now because this shit is the fresh shit. Even though it's raw and it might not be as well produced as my man's tune. This is what the kids are listening to on the road, yeah. and there's always yeah. had that in the UK. That's right. that rebel mentality, man. That's right. You know what I mean? It is, yeah. It's a place to create. When I guess when they, if you think about America, it's a place you go and sell it. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, this is the place where you really great, try and test. Your shit. Yeah. 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 New shit, man. Well, that's what it's all about. It's what it's all about. <laughs> a, AKA the Killer Killer Podcast, which uh, I'm loving yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, we like it. Bro. I hope you had a good time. Yeah, yeah it's man. been good, man. Vibes you know, down there, man. Good. I know the people's out there is going to be loving, loving it because uh, yeah, fucking. Legends in the, in the arena. On, bro. Another yeah, legend yeah, right here. Yeah, come on, bro. Three legends. I know you're going to gas yourself, but come on, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Come on, <laughs> come on you have man. to gas yourself a little bit. Come yeah, on, man. Straight well, legends, we've, man. We've both, we've all three of us have been... We've done it, man. Yeah. We've done it, man. In those, in those airport That's waiting right. rooms and shit. For fully. That's right, fully, man. man. <laughs> For real. Well, on that note, we're out like in was out of fashion. Killer Keller <laughs> podcast. Live and direct. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least try not to. Hold tight. Skibbity. Have yes. a shot. All right. S-A-S-A-S-A-S-A. Big, Big respect, everybody. Don't know. Peace out. Big up, Killer Keller. Thanks yeah. for having us down, man. Pleasure, boys. Come on, bro. Stay lucky, people. Peace. Ho, 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 ho. Cheese.